All right, hey everybody, this is John, and welcome to the free video. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. I want to compare it to quarter end last year and kind of what, what we can look to expect for this year. Uh, also keep in mind that in the U.S., the markets are closed Friday for Good Friday. So Thursday is options expiration. So if you have some options this week that are, that are expiring this week and you think they expire Friday, they actually expire Thursday. So just make sure that you take action on that. Got the long three-day weekend, which is fantastic, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. So if we look at the NASDAQ from a weekly perspective, of course, this was last year, which now seems like 10 years ago. We've had the big rally with a couple of flushes, and we're basically, from a weekly perspective, we've been down at a flush and trading sideways for about a month now. A little bit over a month and we've got a big weekly squeeze developing here on the weekly chart we can see the last one here was a nice little pop and so the question is, is are we going to kind of go up and away here or is there something more sinister that we need to be aware of uh, if we look at of course you know it's a little different scenario but if we look at quarter end last year of course we sold in you know basically sold off from late february into about the end of march and then as we approach quarter end things stabilized and from there we had a rally so could something similar happen this year i actually think it will of course that doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that it will but um, i'm not looking for an explosion to new all-time highs or anything like that i'm looking really for if not a retest of the highs uh, a move back up to possibly uh, plus two atr on the weekly that's 13900 um, or a plus 2 ATR on the daily, which is 13,600. So again, modest expectations. And then uh, another quarter end here for last year was into July. And you can see that basically we kind of sold off into quarter end. Uh, that's a lot of the window dressing, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then had a pretty strong rally after that. So it's, it's typical when you kick off a quarter like that, you know, you kind of get some rebalancing into quarter end and then you're off and running. And then October last year was really strange. I mean, we kind of had this rally. We you know we kind of had this chop in the quarter end, and then a nice rally, and then and then a puke. So it was a little different, but you still had that buying spree right after quarter end. So at the very least, I'm kind of looking for this pattern of you know we get through uh, quarter end, which is tomorrow, and then start to see some strength for maybe a couple of weeks, and then we'll see. I, at this point, that's my long-term view of the market. All right. Hope it helps. You guys have a good one and we'll see you at the next update. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me